আউজ বিল্লাহিমিনীম বিসমিল্লাহিরহমানিরহিম ওয়াতবাউমাতুলুশায়াতিনু ওমায়ুলিমানি وَمَاهُمْ بِدَارِينَ بِهِ مِنْ أَحَدٍ إِلَّا بِإِذْنِ اللَّهِ وَيَتَعَلَّمُونَ مَا يَدُرُّهُمْ بَلَا يَنْفَأُهُمْ وَلَكَدْ أَلِمُوا لَمَنْ اشْتَرَاهُ مَا لَهُ فِي الْآخِرَةِ مِنْ خَلَاقِ وَلَبِيسَ مَا شَرَوْ بِهِ أَنفُسَهُمْ আয়াত নম্বর So in these ayat are also uh, relating to the Bani Israel and who, who have tried to create a new sinful thing, the magic, magicians, magics. So this was the, this evil was created by the devils and uh, that was penetrated in Bani Israel and at the time of Suleiman alayhi salam and uh, then it uh, flourished so much in Babel in the city and then the two angels they came to remove it but uh, the people they were try to do it as much as they can so they were fully failed in the trial that was from Allah so and also the other thing these uh, Jews and Christians they were uh, to say uh, Suleiman alayhi salam who was uh, was not the prophet he was the magician and he 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 ruled the world he ruled the country with the help of magic but that was not true and uh, Allah explained it Allah told it in this ayat that these people they are lying and Suleiman alayhi salam was not in kufr he was not disbeliever he was a prophet of Allah and he was he ruled the country like a gently nice way according to the Islamic point of view so he was very good person and innocent like the prophet all innocent so this way all these things comes in this so we have to read first inshallah so uh, Allah told in this Auzubillah min ash-shaytan ar-rajim bismillahirrahmanirrahim Wattabau Wattabau mean Wattabau and they followed so they followed they mean the Bani Israel the people relating to the Bani Israel all those people so Allah said what the bow and they followed ma what tatlu shayateen tatlu recite or read 
Shayateen, the devil, the shaitan. And what was reciting or reading by the shayateen and the devils and these people who were Bani Israel at the time of Allah Mulk Sulaiman, Allah over Mulk mean the kingdom Sulaiman is Sulaiman al Islam. So in the kingdom of Sulaiman al Islam, so the shayateen they were reciting some type of things special that was actually creating some type of magics and bad things so and uh, these people they followed now if you look uh, so many tafasir of holy quran you will find from there that tatlu shayateen so it mean anything that is against the sharia of islam anything which is against the Sharia of Islam and those things which are like which are used to remove a person from Islam towards uh, the Kufr and those all types of activities comes in Tatlu Shayateen so it means Shayateen, shayateen they were reciting they were doing all those type of things even the music and all these things, when you go in more detail, some of the uh, Tafasir people who also said that all these type of things, like music, songs and all these things, they also comes like they were also Tatlu Shayateen. Shaitan was also reading so many things like that one. So uh, many activities which are out of Islam and those were just to remove a person from Islam and those including in these one Tatlu Shayateen What about Ma Tatlu Shayateen What about and those people those people mean the Bani Israel and they followed the Shayateen what they were reciting or reading Allah Mulk Suleiman at the kingdom of Suleiman Wama kafara Suleiman. Here is Allah is telling us that Suleiman Islam was not a disbeliever. So he was not disbelieved. Because if you look the Bible, the Testament and uh, New and Old and all these books relating to the Ahl Kitab like relating to Christian and Jews, you will find there they don't accept Suleiman al-Islam as a prophet of Allah. They say Suleiman al-Islam, uh, he, he, he ruled, ruled the country with the help of magic. So this type of things they say. So that one, that is wrong. And Allah said, and uh, they dis they these people are disbeliever, but Suleiman Islam was not disbeliever. Suleiman Islam was not at Kufr. Suleiman Islam was the really the Prophet of Allah, and prophets are in, prophets are innocent persons, and they are free from sinful life because the angel Jibrail is always with them, and uh, Allah's angels are also helpful every time when they need angels are ready to help and with the order of Allah, with the command of Allah. So they are under the mercies of Allah, under the protection of Allah. So we can't expect anything that is wrong from the prophets. So if the prophets, they do something, so everything of them is a lesson for us also, because we have to follow the prophets. The people who were at the time of Suleiman al-Islam, it was their need to follow the prophets of Suleiman al-Islam. But they were trying, they, are, they tried to follow the shayateen and what the shayateen were reciting and reading and what they're doing. So here is also, because Allah tells us the tatlu shayateen mean what they were reciting, reciting shayateen, they were reciting and they were telling that this is also the command of Allah. Even when they, when we read in this next, because they, they say that the, because it is, it fall down, it, it sent down by Allah to the angels Harut and Marut, and that is also, uh, 
uh, is it true or is, is a message of Allah, is a command of Allah, like you have the book, like Torah. This is also same like that message of Allah to learn this uh, magical things and then uh, then do that one in the society, like these type of things. So the, some of the people, mostly the, the scholars and the uh, big the people who were pious people of that time they they removed the people from learning of these things from shayateen but they were in few numbers but this way and the many people they went to learn it and they were thinking that it is like a learning rewardable thing because they will get a reward like they they get a reward when they read the torah but actually, they were not getting any reward, but that was a haram thing what they were learning from the shayateen and the thing that were creating a disturbance within the society and problems for the people. So this way, the learning of that one was not allowed, and but they they have done, and some of them, they, they were learning because they were thinking that it is a it is more than uh, good than Torah also. And they left their book and Torah, learning that one and reciting that one, and they tried to went behind the shayateen to recite what they were reciting. So this way Allah said, وَتَّبَعُوا مَا تَطْلُوا shayateen And they followed what the devils were reciting Allah Mulki Sulaiman at the time of at the time of Sulaiman Islam and the kingdom of Sulaiman Islam. Wama Kafara Sulaiman and Sulaiman Islam was not in Kufr, was not disbeliever. He was nice person, believer and prophet of Allah and uh, innocent person. So this way, Walakin the Shayateen, Allah said, Walakin, and, and but uh, the Shayateen, but the Shaitan, the devils, Kafaru, they were disbelieved. So disbelievers were the Shayateen. They were also disbelievers and they are also uh, teaching this disbelieving, disbelieving activities to the people also. Walakin the Shayateen, uh, and but uh, the Shayateen, uh, Kafaru, they were uh, disbelievers. You uh, allemu who were teaching, who were teaching you allemu nasa who were teaching the people seher seher means the magic. So those shayateen they were teaching the people the magic. The magic was teaching by the shayateen to the people. So they these people who were going to learn the magic, and they became also uh, disbelievers because to the magic makes a person away from Islam. So those, because here is, if you look completely here, you can see the plural that is shayateen, not shaitan, shayateen. And they became disbelieved people. They are also, yu'alli moon is also a plural because these shayateen, there was not one shayateen. There was not two shayateen. There are too many. Shayateen, you all moon, and they were teaching many, many people this magic. They were teaching also. It means the magic was then creation of magic was so much. You know, if you look, um, the mostly what these people, the Christian and Jews, they say about Sulaiman al Islam that he and that we found the books uh, of magic from his. Uh, chair where he was sitting to rule the country and under that chair there were the books buried there and they they dig out and they found that one but actually the situation was that one at the time of Sulaiman al-Islam there were the people these shayateen the people they were learning this magical things and the Sulaiman al-Islam when he found the people they are learning and he he ordered the people he commanded the his army, his police to uh, to capture uh, the all the books relating to the magical 
learning so then all the books were snatched by from the people and those were also placed in under the lock under the lock and cupboards especially and those were under the control of the government of Suleiman al-Islam and that way uh, the all the material all the literature was captured from the people all then the, those were also uh, placed in the special cupboards by Suleiman al-Islam so uh, this way and then when Suleiman al-Islam left this world and at that time and the the shayateen and jinn the jinn jinn or uh, demons and all those and and those people they they took uh, from the, that place the books they 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 they, they dug in the place under the chair of Suleiman al-Islam where he was to sit and they they put that one and then make the uh, soil equal and level leveled and so that uh, after that uh, after a few days then what they said to the people that uh, Suleiman al-Islam maybe he has uh, uh, left something we have to look under the chair of Suleiman al-Islam and then when they dug with the people people who dug with them and they found the books like magical books and those people and they who have not seen before and they they were also believing in that one that actually this is reality that the Suleiman al-Islam actually he was ruling over the country through the magic power which is coming from these books and uh, information that was from those books also so this way this this uh, statement uh, propaganda becomes more popular among the people at that time so mostly the people who were the jews uh, and who were not to know because of propaganda was so much so they they also was to believe that really the Suleiman al-Islam was not prophet he was from the and disbelievers astaghfirullah and he was working he was working on the basic basis of the magical power which he got from these books which were under the which were buried under his chair so that was wrong and also they blame blamed on Musa on Suleiman al-Islam that he, he married the daughter of Pharaoh and also the other women and then he was also no a good no good person but if you look in uh, Bible and uh, uh, like uh, in the testament and so many bad things are written with uh, with the name of Suleiman al-Islam and uh, uh, but these are all wrong and we believe that Suleiman al-Islam he was innocent prophet he was prophet of Allah it was Allah's special blessings on Suleiman al-Islam that Allah gave him power throughout the world and that power was not from the magical things that power was blessed by Allah so this way because Allah Allah was merciful to him and Alhamdulillah and he has got all, all the time so because in one hadith we also learn that uh, at the day of judgment when any ruler of the country who will come to come at, in the day of judgment and he will say that uh, uh, I was busy with the state affairs, so I was not having time to pray uh, to remember you, O Allah. Then Allah will say, okay, you stay here. And the person will be stayed there, and then Allah will call Suleiman al-Islam. And Allah will say to him that, look, this is Suleiman al-Islam. Your, your control or your government was on the people only. But Suleiman al-Islam, he was ruling on the people. He was ruling on the air, on the on the air on the demons and so many things and but uh, even having the ruling on those things he was not to forget me even in a moment so he was every time busy to remember me but you you your government was with the people and you left me you left my prayer salah and you don't remember me so you were not so much busy than Suleiman al-Islam so you deserve the hell so he will be sent to the hell
So Sulaiman al Islam is so much nice person, and he is the Prophet of Allah, and he is, uh, mashallah, innocent Prophet of Allah. Like so, this way, <coughs> these people who has written Sulaiman al Islam as uh, who was ruling the country on the basis of magic, and they said they at the last last time he was not good person, he was sinful, and he was worshiping the. Uh, the other than Allah and something like they say they blame Astaghfirullah and they are wrong but Allah's message is right Holy Quran is true Voltings of Allah we believe in it so Sulaiman al Islam is true prophet of Allah innocent prophet nice prophet and all the all the powers of what was given to him blessed to him by Allah that was on the basis of Allah's special mercies not on the basis of uh, the magical power so this is the belief our belief so this way uh, we say that uh, Sulaiman alayhi salam he was the prophet of Allah so alhamdulillah so that was the thing we need to know that Uma Kafara Sulaimana and Sulaiman alayhi salam not, not one, was not a disbeliever walakin the shayateen kafaru but the disbelievers were these these shayateen and shayateen they come in this the shayateen automatically shayateen jinnat and all the people who are following these shayateen even from Bani Israel those all comes in this group of shayateen and those were who who you allimu na you allimu na nasa jo who those were uh, those people they were teaching nas mean low the people they were teaching to the people seher mean the magic so they were teaching magic actually Sulaiman al Islam he was the he collected the books of the magic and he placed at one place then these people they have done they placed they buried the place under his chair and they put there and then they blaming uh, uh, Sulaiman al Islam that he has done that he was working on the magic power astaghfirullah so these people they were uh, they were distributing they were teaching this this uh, this type of sinful thing the magic so this was so much magic was there and uh, then uh, uh, in uh, you know Palestine and in Bethel Muqaddas and this was the place where the so much magical uh, you know the powers uh, were transferred by shayateen to the people and people were uh, just busy to enjoy these type of powers and uh, among the society and uh, the uh, the and uh, in the society there was disturbance and not a peaceful situation so this way and they they got the torment of Allah in the form of uh, the <coughs> the other other uh, king the Bakht Nasr Bakht Nasr came and he attacked on uh, on uh, Palestine and on Bayt al Muqaddas he destroyed them the, he destroyed many places and he he captured all the Bani Israel people and uh, uh, they went as a captured in the captured form he has taken them to Babul so he, they have gone to the Babul Babel. so Babel was the uh, was the <clears throat> we call it in English the Babylon so that was the city of where the Namrud the king was there and Ibrahim Islam and also so Babel was that city Babel was already full of uh, the magical activities Be even when these people they have gone it was already with that and they have because they were also in uh, enriched with these uh, magical activities so the magical uh, situation you know the all the activities were at full swing in in the bubble so babylon was a place where was the so much magic of the world that time and this way allah sent down there two angels just to remove the magic how to remove the magic uh, to teach the people so to teach the people how to remove the magic and to make the society peaceful and nice so that they must be thankful to Allah and be busy in worshipping Allah and living all these satanic sinful activities related to the magical uh, magical activities so that was the things this way Allah said وَمَا أُنزِلَ 
اینڈ وما انزل علی الملائکین بی باب الہاروت وما نوت سو اللہ سیڈ وما انزل اینڈ وٹ ہیو بین سینڈ ڈاؤن علی الملائکین آن ٹو اینجلز اینڈ دوز ٹو اینجلز دے ور سینڈ ڈاؤن دا ہول کمپلیٹ پیکج اباؤٹ دا دیز سینفل دا میجیکل تھنگز وٹ دے ور ڈوئنگ سو بے با بل ہارو تمارو تو یعنی ان بابلون سو ان دیٹ ایریا دیٹ سٹی اللہ سینڈ دیم اینڈ دے دے ور ہیونگ دا آل پیکج جسٹ ریلیٹنگ ٹو دا دیز ایکٹیویٹیز دا سینفل ایکٹیویٹیز ریلیٹنگ ٹو ریلیٹنگ ود دا ود دا میجیکل ایولز سو بے با ہارو تین مارو ہارو تمارو تو دے ور دا اینجلز آف اللہ اینڈ دے ور they got the information completely when they were just to teach the people they were just to teach them that uh, that uh, about the complete picture of the whole structure of the magical things and how the magic is done how the magic is removed they were just to tell the complete story and complete picture of that one complete illustration explanation and all these things like you know uh, when a person is just to when, when your mobile phone for example if your mobile phone uh, becomes defective as problem in that one when you go to someone the first of all the person who is just to open it though he he or she is the expert of that one so when the person is expert of that one that expert knows all the machinery of the mobile so when the person will see uh, will understand that which part of the machine is not working well so the person will try to make it right the then machine will work properly so same thing was that so these these harut and marut they explained every aspect of the magics and then they told that from this way this way you need to remove the magical things how to remove they told eat everything so that the society may be the peaceful nice but uh, some people you know especially uh, the and if you if you look uh, like in in the universities like many universities in england and in the america and mostly the islam is islam is taught by the jews and uh, Christians and not Muslims so those people when they teach they also say that Wama Unzila Alal Malaka and when they read this one and then they say that the, this was the magic that was sent down to them by Allah uh, Allah is not to send down the magic because Allah said that uh, I, uh, Allah, I uh, Allah never uh, is not, not oppressor Allah is just to Uh, Allah is merciful so Allah is Allah said I will I will not be oppressor to the human beings I will be merciful so in this is found in many hadiths of hadith qudsi also so this way we are just to believe in uh, Quran sunnah so we don't believe in those type of meanings which are given by the people so that will explain that the Allah sent down the ma- magic Allah never sent down the magic because Allah this magic they already Allah told in this ayat that the magics were taught by the shayateen and this, these were the look is a وَلَكِنَّ الشَّيَاتِينَ يُعَلِّمُونَ النَّسِّهْرَ you know, These were the shayateen who were just to teach the people the magic. But those angels, they came to remove the magic, but uh, the, the guidance method was uh, so much nice that they, they, they just know each everything and, and where is needed to remove, how to remove, they were just to explain that one also in that one and when the people they were just to go to see them and they were they were to say that we are the test for you a trial for you wama yu allimani and when these wama yu allimani and and not to teach not teach to the people both of them in these two angels min ahadin when one of them when uh, from the Bani Israel or from the people of that area they were just to go to learn something from these two angels they and these angels they were not to tell them anything first of all they say Hatta Yakula they say uh, until unless they say Innama no doubt Nahano Fitnatun we are the trials for you uh, 
so we are the trials for you so you be careful we will tell you each everything so how to remove the uh, magic and we will tell you about complete about the magical things so they and and they said you you are not allowed to do any type of magic but you have to remove it then and if you do then you will go out of the boundary of islam your iman will finish and you will go into kufr so this way they said fala uh, takfur and don't be disbelieve so this was the uh, when they were just to teach before that they were just to say that you are learn it, you are come to, you came to learn it and you learn it and not to do that one but you have to remove it then so that was the thing it mean they actually the main thing was to remove the angel not to uh, spread it spread up that one but those people they were in love to spread that one because shaitan put in their heart the love of evils also so these evils like magical evil to spread up within the society that was the thing fajat allamuna and people they learn minhuma from these two and then what they were doing after that mayufarekuna and then they go to uh, learn something and then for, with the help of that yufarekuna they cause separation bihi ban al mar'i wa zawjihi between the man and the woman uh, between the husband and wife and they were just to make separation between them so so with the woman and um, husband and wife they learn something that was the magical thing they apply that one to make separation of husband and wife wama hum wama hum and so when they they after learning when they were going to do this type of activity it mean they failed in the trial because the angels they came some other purpose but they were just to take those one which were according to their desire the sinful activity so when we are learning like for example if you have a, if you have a mobile phone if you have a computer if you have anything you have two activities there a positive and negative so depends on your own willings so you learn two things like computer i i can go to different wrong things we are i can enjoy and i can enjoy the activities which are sinful and make me satisfy with my desires which are desires of my nafs but if i go i, I the other other thing is that i can go to learn islam quran deen and many other good activities to learn the knowledge school college everything so we can learn some good activities there we can learn the bad activities there when we have the knowledge of this computer or any mobile phone so similarly those people they learn the, about the magic the complete knowledge of that full package of that and from that one they were taking that part which was relative to the uh, to produce destruction to produce separation between within the husband and wife and uh, something like this they were applying that one but they were not applying something which were not just good to remove that type of activities so this way they failed in their trial which was uh, given to them by allah so they were they failed in that so this way allah said wama hum bidorina wama hum and those people and they dorina they were not to harm anyone be he with that mean ahadin to anyone you know they are not to harm anyone and it mean a person who is doing who is doing the magic he, the person is not to harm anyone illa bi iznillah but with the permission of allah if allah wants the uh, the magic will will be effective if allah don't want if a person is do is just to do the magic 70 times 100 times million times the person will not be effective with that magic will not apply will not work on that one so magic only will work if allah wants but if allah is not want then magic will not work so this way allah said illa bi iznillah so is uh, is magical things wama hum bidarina and they they can't they can't make harm to uh, the, to any single person be bin ahadin to anyone also uh, illa bi iznillah but if allah wants so if allah wants if allah uh, allah is with the magical things they can be they can work with the permission of allah but if allah don't want then magics never work 
وَيَتَعَلَّمُونَ and what they learn مَا يَدُرُّهُمْ and that was harmful to them it means what they were learning and uh, they were learning only that part which was harmful to them وَلَا يَنْفَعُهُمْ and which was not profitable to them so they were learning that type of things you can see the position of the people and their desires وَلَكَدْ alemu and indeed alimu if they know laman ishtarahu ma lahu fil akhirati min khalaq laman ishtarahu whatever they are buying with that ma lahu buying mean they are buying this sinful activity the magical things magical activities to do that one and just selling their own iman so they are getting that one allah said if they know uh, whatever they are buying like they're buying the magical things the sinful things malahu uh, for for them for him in the day of judgment min khalaq there is no share anyone they they have no share at the day of judgment it means they will not be they will not be in a position to get any type of rewards at the day of judgment straight away is hell so wala besa mashro wala besa and surely the evil it is the evil mashro what they are selling bihi anfusahum and with themselves it mean with themselves it mean they are, they are selling their iman just just getting this type of evil practice the magical things and which is the evil practice which is the bad thing so allah said what type of people they are what they are doing law kanu yalamun allah said law kanu yalamun if they have knowledge if they have knowledge they can understand uh, what they are doing so so they were they were not to know about that so what what type of people they are you can see and then allah said walau annahum and if annahum amanu if they they were believed if they were just to believe what taqaw and uh, uh, they have taqwa the fear of allah la masubatum min indillahi khair and surely that there was a reward the better reward um, from allah and that was better and excellent and good reward for them law kan yalamun so if they do that one so allah said if they know it was better they were not to do these type of activities as sinful activities they were just to believe in allah and have a fear of allah and then allah's uh, allah's reward was surely for them and that was excellent good reward and law kan yalamun and if they know that one so the main thing is that these magical things these are uh, haram and if a person who is uh, trying to use the magical uh, sinful evil uh, to apply to some person and that person ha- becomes empty from iman and his iman goes off and he is he entered in kufr and also the person who is uh, who is uh, doing this type of activity that is also out of islam the people who are working in uh, in these activities they have no iman at all so this way the even if you look the four imam imam abu hanifa imam ahmad bin hanbal imam malik imam uh, imam shafi all imam agree on that one that a person who is applying magical uh, magic uh, to any person and the magic contains shirk on shirk ya yeah, shirk uh, words or something so then that person must be killed so according to islamic point of view if there is islamic government that the then the this type of person the magician or the person who is doing the magic then the punishment of those one is the killing to be killed to those people also so this uh, is uh, you know very important for us that we must be careful we are not to have a relationship with these type of peoples who are do, who are uh, who are trying to use the magic 
and our magical things and uh, those people if uh, if we have relationship with them because the angels who came to teach them there was also uh, the aspect to, to remove the angel but they have ignored that one but they have taken only which were to produce the um, produce the magic like to apply and to make separation among the husband and wife they were trying to do that one so this way if in in hadith in sahih sahih hadith it comes that the and the shayatin shaitan the iblis he becomes happy when he sends in the morning he sends all of his shayatin to the different places for different activities when at the evening that they come to back, come back to that one and then he he hugs that shaitan who has done the separation between the husband and wife so the shaitan it becomes more happy with that shaitan who is uh, making separation among the between the husband and wife so that is you know we have to look how much sinful activity is that one so this way we must be careful we understand that this uh, magical things even if you look uh, the umar radiyallahu ta'ala in his uh, in his government time that there was the rule to kill those people who were doing the magic and in sahih bukhari one other hadith we are umul mu'minin hafza radiyallahu ta'ala anha and how when one of her maid servant she had done the magic on her and she was killed according to the rules regulation of islam at that time so even if you look uh, imam ahmad bin hanbal radiyallahu ta'ala anhu he said that uh, he he said there is the fatwa fatwa mean recommendation of three the three important uh, companions of prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam that the person who is to do the magic and the punishment of that person is to kill that one so this in sayyidis uh, it comes also that we have not to go to the person who is spreading up magician uh, and uh, otherwise our iman will finish and we will be empty from our iman so this sinful activities these are Uh, magical things these are sinful activities bad activities and they make us away from islam and iman will go off from our body and soul and we have to be away from them and we must discourage those people who are busy in these activities allah save us from all type of sinful activities including these magical things and all other things which makes sinful and we request allah to give us a courage and our give us power to overcome all type of the ill and sinful things which are in our society and we request allah to forgive all of our sinful activities whatever we have done knowingly or unknowingly and at the day of judgment please forgive us and make our way to the